So we already defined the contacts page. And here in the contacts page, we're going to have this toolbar item that is going to be used to navigate over to the main page. It is the new or the new contact button that users will press when they want to add a new contact. And it is from the main page from where they will be able to do so. They, well, we have already defined here the entries and the button to do so. In fact, the navigation is now going to be quite easy because we have already defined the main page of our app to be a navigation page. That starts at its root, the contacts page. Now, because we have this navigation page, when we, from the contacts page, navigate over to the main page, the navigation page is going to do all of the heavy lifting. It's going to have a history of navigation so we eventually can navigate back. It's actually going to add the back button automatically and is actually going to handle that back navigation as well when the user presses on that button. All we have to do is call one single line of code, which is what we will have to add in the event handler for the click of the new contact toolbar item that we have defined. That line of code is actually going to be coming from the navigation property of the contacts page. So any page, because it inherits from a content page or a different kind of page, will have a navigation property. This is coming directly from the parent. It's not something that is defined inside the contacts page itself. Actually, it's not something that is defined in the content page. It is something that is defined in the page which the content page inherits from. And the navigation property is going to contain some different methods, but the one that we're looking for right now is the push async method. The push async method is the one that in its arguments is going to ask for the page to which we are going to be navigating to. Now we could also set the navigation to be animated. That is not going to be necessary. Really everything that we have to do here is create a new main page, just like this. And again, all of the heavy lifting is going to be performed by the navigation page. Now our navigation is ready. Literally all we had to do was add that line of code. Now, the main page of the entire application is a navigation page. And the navigation page has a root page that is going to be the one to be displayed first, the contacts page. And from the contacts page, we are already navigating over to the main page. And like I said, with the help of the navigation page, the main page will now have a back button, which allows navigation back to the contacts page. This is going to be much clearer in the next section when we start testing this functionality. For now, rest assured that our navigation and our UI is pretty much at 100%. All we have to do now is start working with saving contacts, reading them, and eventually adding some more UI by listing those contacts. This is how easy it is to perform navigation on summary forms.